Hey DIYers, Jared with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing if you can use more than one battery pack with a 2 gig GC3. No, you cannot use more than one battery pack for the 2 gig GC3. Um, now the battery pack or the battery backup for the 2 gig GC3 is very important for the system um, because if the AC power were to go out, um, then the battery backup is basically meant to keep the system up and going so that you can have that alarm system working while there isn't a power outage. So the battery backup that's made for the 2 gig GC3 is meant to last about up to about 24 hours um, so that you can definitely keep your system up and running for at least 24 hours whenever there is a power outage. Now, the battery backup for the GC3, uh, it is a rechargeable battery backup. So even if that battery were to die um, during the power outage, it is able to be recharged. So as long as you keep the system plugged into the AC power um, and the system is basically up and running and the battery backup is plugged in, it will be able to recharge. Um, it does take about 24 hours for the battery backup to fully recharge, um, but at least you do have a rechargeable battery backup. So you don't have to sit there and swap it out. You don't have to purchase a whole new one. Once the power is completely out, then you know it's just gonna become a very tedious thing. So that's why they did make the battery backup rechargeable. Now the battery backup for the 2 gig GC3, um, it, it does have a lifespan of about three to five years. Um, so you know, depending on the use of that battery backup, it will last for a very long time. Um, now, over that span of time, uh, the battery backup will start losing the ability to hold its charge. So after about three to five years, you want to check it periodically just to make sure that the battery backup is working correctly. Um, and if not, then you are able to swap it out with the new uh, battery backup for the GC3. Uh, and the, the battery backup is basically named 2 gig battery GC3. Um, it is a very affordable little battery backup. Um, but again, you would only be able to use one with the system. Now I know what you guys are all probably thinking, why not just have a, a spare 2 gig GC3 battery backup? That's not really going to work out too well um, because the battery backup for the 2 gig GC3, it does need to have a constant power draw in order for that battery backup to stay alive. Um, over time, if you have it just sitting in a drawer or dresser or on a table or anything, um, and it's not getting any power to it, that battery is going to drain. So um, even if the power were to go out and you were to try to swap it out, more likely that battery backup is going to be dead. So it's not really gonna work. Um, now, even if you did try to power up the system with a new battery backup, the battery backups are not meant to power up the system. Uh, you have to have the system plugged into an a to at least AC power to power it up and then if that power goes out then you have the battery backup as redundancy so even if the power were to be out and you try to swap it out it's more likely not going to work um, but again your battery backup will last for about several hours uh, to keep your system up and going and of course it is rechargeable so you when that power comes back on as i did say earlier it will be able to recharge the battery to be used again so as you can see, we have the 2 gig GC3 pulled off of our uh, display wall at the moment. I just wanted to show you the inside of it so that you can see the battery backup um, and that there is really only one port for a battery backup. Um, also want to show you a quick demonstration of how to replace the battery backup if you ever did need to. So you, now you can see the inside of the circuit board, right? And then on my top left, you'll see the battery backup located in uh, the GC3 and you'll see the cable that's actually running to the circuit board. So basically if you unplug this cable you'll see that there's only one uh, spot or one slot for a battery backup basically for the battery backup cable to plug into the board. So um, if you ever did want to replace the battery backup though what you would actually do is obviously you know you would unplug this cable from the uh, back of the uh, GC3 and then what you'll do is you're going to pop this battery out this little tab is going to be holding it so you just want to put a little bit of, of gentle pressure on there and it's going to pop out and you'll have the 2 gig uh, GC3 or the 2 gig battery GC3 right in your hand so 
if you did have the new battery backup in hand, what you would do is basically uh, you would just pop that in here. So you would take <laughs> the uh, opposite end of the cable, which is right here actually, and you're going to slide that in through there and just pop it in. You're going to take your cable and you are going to plug it in to the circuit board. Just tuck that little cable. And now you have replaced the battery backup for the GC3. So, um, and then now, as you can tell, uh, there is only one spot for the battery backup for GC3. And that does answer the question on whether you can use more than one battery backup with the 2GIG GC3. If you have any questions about the 2GIG GC3 or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications on future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. Give yourself a great day.